Good morning. Hello. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I feel like we have, there is so much happening here. Well, yeah, here in the next <laughs> um, six, eight weeks that there is just like, there's so much in my brain. I, I have a hard time thinking about other things. Mm. Like. We have a couple shows. We're going to be at a couple shows. We're going to be at Red Deer in May. Um, Ron is going to be here, which we'll talk about more later. And then Jen Kingwell. And then we're going to Quilt Canada and Edmonton in June. And, oh, just a small minor project in the background where we have to switch over our website and insert point of sale. Small project. Oh, and Leslie and I are going to Chicago for H and H, for with so tights, well, and the, and out of hand as well. But like, holy, that's exciting Schnikes. stuff. My I, brain is just like packed. I cannot. I just get to go along for the ride. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you could just like absorb some of the mental load of that, please. Okay. Oh, and I have like a family too. Oh to yeah, deal with. yeah. <laughs> uh, meanwhile you're like how's your week like it's so chill just hanging out clean my house like that's really nice leslie that's okay i'm happy for you um pam is asking about the quilt oh kind of. yes it is a free pattern from laundry basket quilts called um, flower ball snowball flower flower wall flower wall flower wall yes um so yeah, free pattern on our website. This is a kit that we have um, that Kim did. And um, yes, I love it. Actually, it's been a while since I've seen it. It's usually folded up, mm. hanging up mm -hmm. over in the back there. It's been a while since I've seen it open. Yeah, really it is like really it. cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, so are, I was wondering about the birds in your pond near your house. Are they back? I have some weird update on that <laughs> so the pond near my house is completely empty and void of water oh because they i i they got they and they have like truck like scoopy trucks oh what are those called like an excavator that's the one uh <laughs> scoopy trucks i have two boys i know all the words <laughs> um, <laughs> And those are just driving around, scooping stuff up out of the pond. Oh, yeah. So I think, I don't know if they're doing like a sediment like thing. Yeah, maybe. Because it's, it's like, getting too full. it's a storm pond, right? Yeah, it's getting too full. Is that so what it is? Probably. Okay. If they're scooping out, it's probably getting too full and can't hold the volume of water it needs to hold for storm retention. Oh, okay. So, well, right. Yeah. Right now it's real low tide. <laughs> water in that their <laughs> pond. Um, which is so funny because uh, my best friend moved here and I was like, we're going to go for walks every day around the pond. We went for one walk before they gated it off oh, and threw it into Swamp Town. But, and I'm really upset because we have like a resident blue heron who lives there. And now I'm, I'm really worried that that's going to like scare him away. Right. I love him. So every year he's there, he's just doing his thing. Some of the birds pick on him and he's just like doing his own thing. Hmm. I just love him. And I'm, I'm worried he's not going to be there. So hopefully for that. And they really need to get their shit together before June when the pelicans get here. Surely this won't take that long. If the pelicans do not have a place to land near my house, <laughs> I will riot. Oh my goodness. So that's, that's how the pond is doing. Okay. okay. Sorry you asked. Um, Marion from says she's from Chicago. You love it. Yes. Yeah. We, well, I went to Chicago last year for H&H. &H, this will only be H&H's &H third year mm. in H&H &H America, as it's called, because it's been in Cologne, Germany for Cologne, Germany for a long, long time. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. Yep. Um, we're in Rosemont. So not quite as cool as downtown <laughs> but <laughs> it's still fun and um last year we did go downtown one night to like do that so we probably will again although i always say that but our schedule is so packed anyway it'll be fun we better start yakking about okay. other stuff because the list yes the, the sticky today is long long because finally stuff started rolling in um okay first a new 
Liberty Quilting Cotton called Garden Party in High Summer colorway. So it's like these beautiful springy yellows <gasps> and greens. I just love them so Frick, much. that's cute. Those little flowers. Stop it right now. Hang on. Cake. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, my God. Imagine those as like little like napkins. Oh, yes. Wouldn't that be so, so cute? cute. And this one, like a little like garden. Oh, I love that. I really want to make a, a Dalesford out of this. I think a Dalesford out of this would be so pretty. Yeah. Um, and this, like this, for a little like lining or accent. my My cherish quilt has a lot of these colors in it. And I'm like, well, how is your cherish quilt? It's, I've got two, two big seams. No, two big seams, two and a half. I have to finish that. So that will give me six and then I've got my seven and then, and then I get starting to start putting the big, big Ooh. pieces together. Big, big pieces. It, it is really a, a lot of maneuvering. It's one thing when you're working on a block and it's like this big. It's another thing when you're like, Whoa! so this is the EPP quote she's yes. been working on. Um, did you take the papers out? No. Okay. Well, you can, in when you're EPPing, like in the rosette. Yeah. Anything that's already sewed all the way around, yes. you can take the papers out. That's allowed. Yeah, that's not. It's not going to ruin. No, it'll so, make it easier. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. take like all that weight of the paper. Okay. So all you just need to leave because it's what sixty degree diamonds on the outside. Mm -hmm. Leave those because they aren't sewn all the way around. Yeah. But then once they're sewn together, you can remove those. So then you can, like, you know, it can yes. act like fabric and Kay. smush. Because right now and it's not like, act like paper. Yeah. Right now <clears> I'm maneuvering like cardboard <laughs> sheets of cardboard around yeah take some out i love that one so i do too did you show this one yeah okay okay yes oh and the peacocks yeah they're yeah. pretty pretty cute. Dark cute okay so look that, at that whole line together like I just know. hang on mm. yeah that's beautiful it is so pretty so that's called garden party from liberty it's, it's actually, I finally noticed that quilting cotton is called, quilting cotton is called, I think, Lansbury cotton. Oh! It has a name, not just Liberty Quilting Cotton, <laughs> to distinguish from Liberty Tanalon. Hmm. Anyway. Look at, we still, we learn all the time. We're yeah, always we learning. Oh, you know what? It's a, it's a great time of year, just before summer, to buy flannel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're stocked up just in time. <laughs> just in time for the warm season. Ooh, that's but beautiful. I remember oh. why I bought it. This is so like cute. this one. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's it's Riley Blake final. So like I freaking love dinosaurs. Oh, it's, it's so, so cute. cute. And Roar from Tula Pink mm. is gonna be here. I think I think it's still being delivered today. <gasps> so then we'll cut pre-orders and blah 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 and have it out. Maybe by tomorrow, Monday. Maybe give us till Monday. <laughs> but anyway, how cute would that be on the back of one? Oh, yeah, really cute. And then um, a little woodland theme with, with the bears. Did you have your little guys in mind? <laughs> this is so okay. cute. You can tell. Oh, yeah, this thing. They, they have that in the pond. <laughs> this. Well, that's a front end loader. Okay. <laughs> Well, I Sorry, just smacked her butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that final, because when I'm looking at stuff, like when I was pregnant with my boys, I didn't know they were boys. So I guess I shouldn't say pregnant because I didn't, that was a birthday surprise. But after they were born and I was looking for boy fabric, there was never any boy mm. fabric. Yeah. So I always try to include the boy fabric because... I mean, some girls this. absolutely love the cars and excavators and stuff too, but yeah. still. And the front loaders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> excavators have the track. Oh, I can't, I cannot say for certain if they have tracks. <laughs> All right. Next, Busy Bees. Oh, I saw these on the shelf uh, while I was looking for something else one day and I was uh -huh. like, where did these come from? <laughs> How long have these been here? Oh, they're so cute. So we just, got the two we got the cream 
and the gray. And they're so cute. We get, I am, one of the things I'm surprised about is how often we get asked for bee fabric. Oh, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> I love bees. I love bee fabric. Um, There's something so like whimsical. We, ha we have bee fabric, but it's kind of like cartoony. And people don't oh, like that. They want it right. to look like real bees. And mm -hmm. I felt like these look like real bees. Real bees. Real little bees. Real little bees. <laughs> um, no, they're re they're really cute. Mm -hmm. I I approve. Okay. I approve. Good. <laughs> then some background fabric mm. from Dear Stella called Stardust. It's so pretty. We got a few of the colors. I love that one. Yeah, it's really nice. <clears throat> the navy with like the rainbow in it, which is great. Yes. And then the usual white with black, black with white. <laughs> Gray on gray. <laughs> Some variation of <laughs> that, those combinations. Um, so that's called Stardust. Okay. Then okay. <laughs> along, uh, along with Roar, these I think shipped from a separate warehouse. So we got these first. The Big Bang kit featuring to the pink Roar. They are here. We have a few that are left from pre-order. Pre-order. Jeez. Like. You, okay. I you think I would have been to the dentist and have like a frozen mouth this morning. Um, I don't know how much fabric in the, is in here, but a lot because it weighs eight kilograms. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Because we've had to ship some already and it weighs eight kilograms. Oh, it's so fun. It is so, it is so pretty. And like, I like it real close for you guys. Like, love it. <clears throat> so anyway. That's a big bang kit. Then, wow. Also, these arrived. Okay. No. I am obsessed with this thing. And nobody, I don't think anybody knew I was getting them. <clears throat> Did the girls tell you my reaction to this? No, nobody told me anything. <laughs> what day? I would have been here Saturday. Saturday. Was Saturday with the class. With the class. And I was like so confused because I was like, how does this how does this work? What is this? Like what like trying to poke the buttons? I'm like, I don't get it. Then you plugged it in. Plugged it in. <laughs> Holy shit. What? <laughs> Do we have a plug? <laughs> you guys, this is I mean, maybe I have just been under a rock, but like what? there is a little bit of water in there. So okay. Careful. Okay. Um well that's how Oliso's that's their thing, right? Is these, it these these feet? When you put your hand on here, they retract. So you can leave the iron like this if you so choose. And if you can't imagine that, imagine you it's it's you pick it up, those go in, you iron, and then you let go, and then it they come out, and then it just sits there. And then you can just grab it again and start ironing. None of this <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> it's so it blew my mind. Yeah. It I will right out of my little brain hole. It blew, like, <laughs> I will say that and it's very I cute. didn't think it was going to be that neon. And oh. I love how neon it is. It's so cute. And then I think that this is just like so hilarious. This is don't feed the fish. And we are getting the mini ones as well. I just don't know. Are why. we? Yeah. That's fun. Because I think Kate had hers at the, at the class. Yeah. Yeah. Sure yeah. Oh, so cute. Yes. I love it. And I am, um, I've done a lot of talking to myself about why I need such an iron. <laughs> um, I am keeping one for myself, which is not something I normally do. That's true. Um, you don't normally. Mm -mm, but I am. Because yeah. I haven't bought a new iron in uh, 15 years. And mine, like, makes so much noise. And my sewing room is right outside my kids' room. And I'm always worried. Well, not so much now that they're older and they can, like, sleep through things. But when they were little and sleeping was an issue... I always was worried about having my iron on because it makes so much noise. How noisy is your iron? We're like really bad noisy. <clears throat> so this girl's coming home with me. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really cool. I will us post videos of it in action because like <laughs> magic sorcery. It's amazing. It's so cool. Okay. So that's the iron. That's how I feel about that. I know. It's just pretty. One of our customers, Lori, was here last Friday when when I opened it. And she 
was like, oh, can we try it? And I was like, oh, of course. You know, she's like, I could iron all day long with this pretty thing. But so they were doing the, the cathedral window on Saturday. And when I went back there and I was like playing around with it, I was like, does anybody need me to do any of their ironing? Because like this, this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you get our newsletter, which you should, we only, we send two a week. No big deal. Um, on Tuesdays, it's normally just like our staff pick and tip Tuesday. But creating memories from Tilda, we were allowed to announce it's the pre-sale of that collection on Monday. So it was mm -hmm. in our Tuesday email. So yes. if you got our, if you get our emails, you saw it on Tuesday. If not, you're hearing about it now. So Tilda's next collection comes out June 15th. It's called Creating Memories and it is giant. Yeah. They're doing like a little capsule collection for every season. But then you combine the four seasons yes. and it is a lot. And then they're also, their basics, like their stripes and their tiny dots and stuff. They're switching over to wovens. Um, I don't think all their tiny dots, but oh. their stripes for sure. Okay. Are being, they're switching over to wovens and they are stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so it's a whole new thing. Um, so that's up for pre-order and it's like. Fat quarter bundles for every season, buttons for up every season. We're doing some of the quilt kits, um, sailboats, whales, bunnies, and a Christmas one. Nice. It is cute and it's beautiful. And yeah, the they <clears throat> are like just they are so they be all of them so easy to incorporate into projects. Like they're not, it isn't necessarily like like a theme to right. it. They're right. just like good blenders or yeah, they yeah. are. They're all mostly blendery. Yeah. Fabrics. There's not really a big focal for all yeah. of them, right? Yeah. So that's up. And last on the list, class updates. So we have, I've put up Stitching with Maryland, Sit and Stitch with Maryland for May, June, July. Thread therapy for May and June. Um, we're not, can we're not doing thread therapy in the summer months because hit or miss and then also ron will be here that's one of the things in my brain is ron will be here in may for two retreats um and there's like two spaces left in each so if you want to come so with ron for a little bit in may that's there and then also the other thing the other thing on the list oh and finishing schools with edith for um there's one actually in a couple of weeks on the 28th of April. And then, so April and May finishing school with Edith on a Sunday. And hang on, there's one more thing. Oh, hold everything, mm. oh, hold everything. We're doing another class with Kim in June. So all of those are up. So we have our classes up through the summer and then we take a little class break over Except for Ron will be here again in July. And that's about it for July and August. Take a little break. <clears throat> so. How are we talking about August already? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I Like, I just have my eyes set on the end of June. Mm -hmm. When, like, all these, like, big classes and shows and uh, website thing is finished. That's all I, that's all I got. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all I can you know think what? about. Eyes on the prize, baby. Yes. So. That's that for today, I think. What are those? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> Kim made some bundles. Uh, Kelly asked, what's the quote behind you? So it's a free pattern from Laundry Basket called Flower Wall. And then we did, this is a kit that we have available for... Um, if you want to make this exact same one. So, yes. Flower wall from Laundry Basket. Okay, so Kim also made these. Um, so they're Marsha Durst. Durst, no T, and Marsha Durst. Uh, like texture fabrics that we've had. They're really cool. And um, so she, the other day, made a warm bundle and a cool bundle. So, yeah. yeah those so are neat. If you're a Marsha Durst fan and you love her textures, then those kind of fits you. Okay, my friend Haley's on, and she's a teacher. And I'm just like, 
And I saw Bev, who is also a teacher. And I'm like, how, how does this work? It's 9.51 <laughs> on a Thursday morning, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Although I can see, like, being a teacher and never having any time to yourself, I can see, like, sneaking off to the bathroom and just getting on your phone. And being like, don't, don't talk to me for the next five minutes. Yeah, like, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 100%. Okay. So that is all for today, I think. And, yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah, lots of fun stuff, though. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you. Have a great week. She wanted to see fabric. And, oh, it must be your, her, like, free. Spare? Free? What's it? Spare? What's it called? Uh, anyway. Yeah. That word. That, whatever. <laughs> whatever you do. Whatever the thing is called when oh, you do prep. the marking. That's ah, her. yeah. Yeah. That's her prep. Yeah. Yeah. We're really good at this. Okay. <laughs> we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh. Okay.